by the way, we're both fully vaccinated. <laughs> so what were you thinking after we got the email that we were remote for the rest of the spring 2020 semester? Well, I know I was thinking, what are we going to do? Because I didn't have really any idea at that point. Um, I think we took another week off once we realized we were already gone for two. I don't think I did anything right away. I think I just reached out. We were working on King David and um, we had some things, we had, had some music that we could still do. I know I, I reached out to you. It's hard to remember everything at that yeah. point because everybody was dealing with like what's possible, um, all the changes that were going on. Um, but I reached out to you to say, is there a way that we could record from home? I think it must have come from um, knowing that we've been recording at home before all this happened for homework assignments. Mostly because I was getting frustrated with people not practicing outside of rehearsals. So yeah. making them like show me they were practicing at home and using their phones, it was getting really easy. So I think the coming together of we've got technology in place, so what can we do? Um, and I think it was, let's just try to record some of these simple choral movements that were all one part um, and that we, re we could record it and see what happened. Because at that point we were still doing one take of just video and audio at the same time. Right, yeah. And then um, there were some really smart people out there that said, I don't want the stress of having to do, because we're doing multiple takes. I remember one project I did somewhere along the line, I had 14 takes or something. Wow. And um, I think it was for something later in the summer that I did. But um, someone, I remember Brianna Carson was the person that said to me when she was doing like National Anthem, I'm just that she just did an audio take and then went back and lip synced over it. And it was so good that I didn't really notice or I, cause I wasn't looking for it perhaps, but um, that just people along the way using their own um, ways of doing things or having practiced things or just, you know, really kind of led to, let's just get audio takes first. It takes the stress out of getting a perfect take audio and visual. Based on that, how did the experience from spring 2020 impact your plans for like us as an ensemble for fall of 2020? Well, I think the first thing is that we ended up somehow either being asked to or suggesting for the fully virtual commencement of being able to supply some of the commencement music for this. We knew the campus was going to do this digital commencement, right? Um, so we, they wanted the road home and I really wasn't happy with that, to be honest with you. I don't think it quite work there are too many disparate voices in the acapella but what really worked really well was the babietu that you were able to put together like by that point we had figured out enough that we could do the national anthem there was the alma mater with the wind ensemble we were all kind of jumping in and trying this um the big thing was that there were steps right that we'd have to lay down a baseline audio track and then if you wanted the conductor i You'd, the conductor would have to go back through and record to that, and there was all these steps. I think that the success of those projects, and even though I wasn't exactly happy with the, the, the road home, there was enough success in that that we could see we could really do this in the fall. The big key to the fall, though, was that James and I could be together. What a huge, like, less steps it was, or a huge step forward it was, yeah. to be able to have James and I in the same room. And then, um, because even if we were all remote, right, on Zoom, and he was in one place and I was, the delay and the lag, it would be the rehearsals. Okay, James, you play this. And then everybody was delayed. But if you could get me singing and him playing and me conducting all from the same space, then there was a lot more we could do. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the pieces that we did in the fall, it sounded a lot better than what we were able to do in the spring. Yeah, because there wasn't that extra step of trying to sync up the video. And, the, yeah. and we had the baseline audio. We had great audio from James. We had really good audio from home because you were able to say, do this, do this, don't do this. Yeah. Um, and we were sending stuff back to people. Uh, people had learned. We just did the audio, right? Everybody focused on the audio. Yeah. And then we could focus on the video, having, having permission, which we were hoping to get the whole semester, right? Yeah. To be able to have in-person video. Um, the steps that we made forward made the possibility of something more real. In some ways, it was better than, mm, some ways better than, because you're producing everything. You can yeah. make it better than the real deal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like if we were in the hall, you get your one shot at a live performance. Right. But here, I was like, well, 
you're a little flat, so I'll just cut you, and then... Yeah, right, you can take out the, the yeah. messy stuff. So everyone was spot on. Yeah. So After being remote all semester, it was nice to be able to come in. The day, I will never forget the day that, I mean, we'd seen each other maybe once or twice, or maybe it was when we came in, we marked everything where everyone was going to stand. Yeah. And then we, we called Emily, and Emily yeah. could come over, and it was the first time, at least for me, seeing a second student. You were the only student I'd seen in person so far, and then having... Emily come over. It was a beautiful day in the fall and we were getting everything ready because our time was so limited what the provost said we could have people yeah. come in for this time and only this many people and and so having everything um, lined up so that we knew where people could stand like you had to have a vision for how everybody, where they would stand and that you could integrate everyone too, right? Um, and as much as, much as we um, reached out to the, you know, the the staff that was helping you know get all the video it was still hard for them to understand what your concept was so we still had to work against that a little bit yeah but it still came out okay yeah it came out great really yeah yeah like I said once this camera is rolling don't touch it don't move it but don't I you want that's like no no, no leave it alone <laughs> the other thing from that semester is we had to have so much post-production time right yeah and so it was limited what we could do for the crowd to do what 12 minutes for credo and then the um, this little light of mine that was a that was a huge project and yeah. then college choir two pieces again it was a huge pe a huge project putting that all together yeah um because we filmed like the first weekend of november yeah and so we had the rest of the semester to to be able to do all that post-production stuff then rehearsal was like well yeah we're done yeah so. but the, everyone had done the work and it was it was plenty of work Oh, and, yeah. And I think the experience at the end, at least for me and what I think other people felt at the end of the semester when we shared it on the performance night, was it looking back, the memory was like that we actually did it together. Yeah. And because we had that on campus component, like looking back, I almost probably people remember being in the ellipse, right? This semester, just being in, in Mayo all together, you know, we're still keeping our distance and we're wearing masks, but. We're there. We were only, Corral was only missing five people. Yeah. So we were almost the whole ensemble. Yeah. And it was so great just to be with everyone. And to sing. And I, you know, looking at it, and looking at this semester, like, I did not want to do, I don't know that you did either. Yeah. Everything we did last semester where everybody recorded from home every project because that would limit us. I wanted to be able to capture a live performance, even if we're sharing it digitally with no audience in the space with us, but have the essence of a live performance. And even though we had people at home, it was, okay, this time everybody, you sing it, you get the video, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's we're going for a live performance. Yeah. Um, and so there are more imperfections to it. It's not gonna be as produced, but it's more authentic. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think, again, like what's that next step? Where can we take it? So I feel like we've had this like, we, we really had a hybrid of digital live in a real sense of real music making this time. Yeah. And for me, I think I was so impressed, and I think it's remarkable is the word that's come to mind. I finally have a word for it, that we could come in and that half of the crowd was rehearsing in, per, in person. And literally, the second half of crowd showed up, and in two and a half hours we recorded all of this stuff and those people from home didn't miss a beat it was yeah. amazing that they blended right into the sound they were so paying attention on camera you know the whole semester through zoom and so focused that for me okay we got it we got what one full take of yours but that's a little different because it's got to be a different project yeah but we did two takes of matt's piece of casey's piece and then literally the bach which is so hard we came in and just did and just laid down and to know that we've got something yeah is remarkable um that we just walked in literally walked in and sang it so it's been quite a like a journey i don't know what the next step would be except yeah. for back in person back in again. person yeah and <laughs> definitely continuing to stream yeah and um i think we can certainly keep going with elements digital elements like of enhancements or I mean, those are things I'm interested in all the time anyway. Um, and just integrating. So keeping with the evolution of, you know, our our progress through the pandemic, we're actually performing live at 
the arts com commencement ceremonies where we only have the road home and there's only what like 10 of us yeah but we get to sing live with an audience so we recorded pre-recorded for all the other ceremonies right right but now so i'm really looking forward to that yeah and it's amazing that we've been able to to go that far right yeah and um of course, the numbers following all the Moscow Pledge and the guidelines that, you know, the commencement's going to be different. We're not going to have the big commencement ceremony. But it's wonderful that the president's office still wants to integrate music uh, and live music if we were up for it and we could make it work. So we did. We recorded The Road Home, right, with the wind ensemble, which is a reduced number of the wind ensemble, too. Um, and just really one on a part, two on a part. What, the alto is doesn't yeah, split there's, so there's two yeah. and I have two altos just to balance and it's really just the seniors in both ensembles we went to the seniors first because this is the meaningful part for all of you right um, and for us too as faculty um, and then just expanded what we needed moving down so I have three juniors I think and everyone else is a senior so yeah we recorded it and then we get to really do it live for your ceremony yeah and for the other arts comm ceremony I think I am our IMM and um music are together in the same ceremony so yeah. you will all be conferred your degrees at the same time but I'm we also get to do it yeah. yeah and and really I had to I have to admit I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it I was like this is a lot of work but yeah I think the look on your face in particular when you said are we gonna get to do this I was like yeah we're gonna yeah. do it because I mean yeah I've been in Corral since freshman year so I've been at all the commencements that were in person so as a freshman, you know, I didn't really know what what it meant. But then by sophomore year, I was like, no, this is this is a really good good piece, and like it means a lot. Then junior year, my junior year, the we were virtual. But so then being able to come back this year and sing it in person, it just really means a lot. I'm I'm really looking forward to just being able to sing live for an audience. Yeah, at your own commencement. At my own commencement. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. That doesn't happen everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, your piece. So Jerusalem. <laughs> so through all. So we've been talking about like everything that we've done, and then so you decided your senior thesis project would be. Um, I mean, you already have tons of material. I mean, the credo was incredible. The Baba Yetu from a year ago was fantastic. Like you've done all these things. So, like, well, what do I do that's even more? And so, taking the piece Jerusalem by Kenneth Lample, and you having been in Corral, being in a uh, music minor and a music tech minor and an IMM major, and taking conducting coursework with me, right? Um, being able to take one piece and you doing everything with it. So not just the, the audio video editing, but also teaching the piece to the ensemble, conducting the piece to them and conducting it in performance and then blending everything that we've done this whole year, right, and every step along the way, along with capturing a quiet campus, right, and then a campus coming back to life from the winter to the spring, kind of renewal, a piece that talks about that, right? Yeah. Um, it's been pretty cool to encapsulate, like, a whole story in this one piece, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a crazy journey, because when I first thought about taking the conducting classes, it was just for fun. I would see, you know, Nicole conducting and Monica and all of them on the podium conducting. I was like, well, I can do that too. So I reached out to you to say, hey, can I maybe take this class? And you let me take it. And now this is my thesis. It was great conducting in Mayo with everyone there. And I was, I saw it like in the moment too. But when I was watching the, the footage back, we made eye contact at one point <laughs> and in the moment was great but even after like when I watched it back like there was still that same emotion of because we really took this journey together yeah like you reached out to me last March saying what can we do and now May and we've done so much yeah, so. absolutely. And to be have you at the podium was so cool. Yeah. Like, because you've always done it. You've, you've done what other people's art has been and expanded it. And so this was completely yours. Yeah. Um, except for writing the piece. Yeah. But there's a TCNJ <laughs> connection, and it's an incredible piece because yeah. it is a special piece for you now. 
and it, and it would have been an otherwise too, but um, for so many reasons, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was great to be able to do a piece in Hebrew just because there's not a lot no, there of isn't. it out there and we don't do a lot of it here. So to be able to bring that from my background and share it with everyone, that was also really special. Like some of the stories that I would share when I was teaching to help people connect to the piece more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're leaving this place with a whole massive toolbox, right? Yeah. As a musician, as a conductor, as an artist, as uh, a, you know, a digital and video editor, those things that you love and being able to combine that with an audio engineering too is yeah. like everything that you've done. Yeah. Is pretty. Yeah, when I graduated well. high school, I was convinced that I was done singing, which is, it's crazy to look back on that feeling now, just because, you know, I've been in Corral for all eight semesters I was here. I added the music minor, then I added the music tech minor, but I really thought that I was done. I wasn't even going to audition for Corral, and then I did, and I got in, and my life has been forever changed in the best way possible. So just thank you for for everything you've done for me. Oh, it's my it's, pleasure. It's been great. No, that's why we. That's why I do it. You know that, that being able to work together is. Gosh, there's no there's no other place you get to do it, right? Yeah. Where we're just we're just instruments. I've been thinking so much about this, like with everything in the world, like how like we are a model, not just choirs, but maybe perhaps even more choirs, but in a musical ensemble where we just the only way I can think of it is we just shed all the stuff from every life that says you were this and you were qualified as this and you you get along with that. All of that just disappears, and we become instruments working together, you know. And and the fact that our voices and our bodies are that instrument—it's not even holding an instrument. It's it's we are this cerebral instrument too, that is so cool. And I think it's a model for if we could tap into that thing that makes us connect, and it doesn't matter any of the other stuff, you know, is at a core level. It's like how can we how can we share that with the world? Like how can yeah. we? like make it reach past which we're trying to do right by sharing what we do yeah yeah it's pretty amazing stuff yeah